Okay, so on this video, I'm looking at travel mug tree and I'm looking at the lid for the travel mug tree. Now this lid is a bit different to the other lids, there's a bit more detail on it, but it's not that difficult to make. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a sketch in the front plane. So right click front plane, click sketch. I'm going to draw a rectangle, go to normal rectangle, so this corner rectangle. I'm going to draw that rectangle over here to one side. I'm then going to go to line and from this corner here I'm going to go horizontal for any distance. I'm then going to go at a slight angle up, horizontal again until I pick up the other side of the rectangle like so and straight back down. I push escape on my keyboard to stop drawing dimensions. I then go to smart dimension and I'm looking at the distance from the bottom to the top that total distance on this particular object is 33 millimeters. No, okay, so that allows the scale. Then the next thing I have to work out is just this particular measurement here. So the thickness of that there, that top line, it is so much of the 33, its distance altogether has to be 20. Now I've just realized I've actually made a slight mistake folks. I have the 33 in the wrong place. I'm going to just X out of that. I'm going to delete that for the moment. And this here unfortunately has to be more than 15 because there's a lip up on this. I'm going to make that to be 25 for the moment. Okay, that's better, yeah. Now, and then the bottom rectangle, its distance altogether is 18. So this distance here is 18. Now, it's quite thin, there's not much depth to it. So this thickness here is only going to be two millimeters. So that line there is two. Okay. That's that, and then this overhang here, which means from this corner to this corner here, that's a total of five. And the top piece up here, that line there, that is a total of two again. That's great. I'm then going to go to fillet. I'm going to set the fillet to one on the left hand side. I click this dot here, click this corner here, click this corner here. Oh, it's been up the wrong way, so I'm going to undo that. I'll do that afterwards. It's just those two then for the moment. Click the green tick. Click it again to update. Uh, I then go into rectangle again, corner rectangle. And it's going to zoom in down here I'm going to just pick up anywhere I like down here on this line. I'm going to draw a rectangle into the object like this. Smart dimension. The distance from the bottom of that rectangle to the bottom of this is a total of three. That thickness there is a total of two. And this distance here is a total of one. Now, if the number one appears, it's after picking up a relation somewhere. That's okay. Just click the green tick. Or you might need to type in the number one. I then go to trim. I'm going to delete that line there. That's gone. And I'm also going to delete this line here between these two objects. So that's that gone. Click the green tick. Next thing then is push escape once or twice on your keyboard. Click this dot here. Hold down control. Click this here, the origin. Now it's not picking up the origin just yet. So origin, pull down control, click this point here, click the option horizontal. And then finally then go back to smart dimension. The distance from the outside corner here to the origin, that is a total of 35. And I click the green tick. Perfect. Now, so let's lay it up there for a second. I then go to features. 
I'm going to revolve. Oh, I forgot one thing, folks. I have to go back to sketch line for construction. And from the origin, just draw a line going straight up there. Any length, once it's vertical, push escape. Now I go features, revolve by space. Give it a second to update. Click that vertical line I just drew. I nearly forgot. And then click the green tick. Now, so that gives us the more or less the outside shape of the object. Now, it's too tall in a few places. There is a bit of work we done with it, but that's essentially the shape on top. I'm now going to go to the front plane. I'm going to just click the word front plane, but not right click it. Just normal click front plane. I then go to reference geometry and I click plane. And what will happen is it will automatically create a plane that's parallel to the front plane. And that plane needs to be in there a total of, from what I can make out from my ruler, change number 10. I want to see what 22 looks like. So 22 is correct, yes. Click the green tick on 22. Now we're going to open up sketch. So right click on that plane anywhere you like. Click the button to the left of the glasses. Hit the space bar and click normal too. Now we're going to do a three point arc. So I'm going to go to three point arc, click down the drop down arrow, three point arc, let update. I want to pick up that middle point there. I'm going to go right over to the far side and pick up the opposite middle point. And then I want to just go up here. This takes a little bit, of it can be a bit tricky, but I want to pick up the bottom line there, not the top, the bottom one. Click again. When I have that done, I click the green tick. I then going to go to line and the next shape doesn't matter. I'm just going to go from there up here somewhere horizontally across back down inside again that shape does not matter there's no measurements for this click the green tick click it again to make sure it's okay i go to features i'm going to extruded cut and i'm going to change it the direction the opposite way i'm going to change it from blind to true wall so this is show you the direction button again that's going the wrong way this is going the correct way when I have that done, I click the green tick. Let update. Now, so that started making the shape, we'll say, that's on the object, okay? There's kind of a curved shape on it. And then all of this material here now has to be removed around from the rest of it. To do that, again, I go to the plane, right click that plane, click the button to the left of the glasses, hit the space bar, click normal too. And then I'm going to go to corner rectangle. Apologies, wrong button. I'm going to go to line. I'm going to click that point there. I'm going to go right across the other side. And I'm going to continue out horizontal. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go across. Again, there's no measurements here. I'm going to go back down. I'm waiting for it to pick up the dot there. And I go back in again. Have that done. I click the green tick. I go features. Extruded cut. And this time I change from blind to true all and I'm making sure it's going that direction, exactly what we have there. When I have that, I click the green tick. Now that's shaping it down to the right height and you still have the curve on top as well, just like that. And there will be a bit of filleting to be done to get it all right, but essentially that's it. Now, okay. The next thing then is that there is a slightly sloped surface inside this and a hole in it for holding where the liquid comes out. So I'm just going to hide this plane because it's going to be a bit um, off-putting. So I'm going to right click plane one here on the left hand side, click the glasses to hide it. I'm then going to go to the right plane, right click right plane, I'm going to click sketch, I'm going to hit the space bar, I'm going to click normal too. Now what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to line and I'm going to click for construction. I'm going to pick up the midpoint here and I'm going to go up to this top inside corner up there. It'll eventually pick up an orange dot for you there. Perfect. Click the green tick when you have that done. Oh, sorry. Push escape on your keyboard and then you're done drawing that line. You can then exit the sketch. Now, so that's that part done. The next thing is I want you to click reference geometry, click plane. I want you to click anywhere on this flat surface here. Ignore what happens. Just click anywhere on that flat surface and then click that dot there at the very end. When that happens, the plane will be parallel to the bottom and on that dot, which is what we want. Click the green tick. 
spin this around until it's in 3D. Right click anywhere you like in that plane, click sketch again, hit the space bar, click normal too. Now it's actually the wrong way around, just going to spin it around I can see it this way for myself. And I'm going to go to line again. I'm going to click midpoint line for construction. And I'm going to pick up, let me see now, make sure I pick up the right dot. So it is at the front, yeah, so this dot here, I click the end of that line anywhere I like. Drag to left or to the right, you see a line going in both directions. The length of that line is irrelevant, so draw a nice long line. When you have that done, push escape on your keyboard and then exit the sketch. Now, we're going to use them lines now to make up a plane at an angle. So go to reference geometry, click plane, wait for it to update. Click this dot here at the end of the line, click this dot here at the end of the line, click that dot there at the end of that line. When that happens, click the green tick. Now you have a plane that's at a slight angle inside the object, which you can see here. So the slightest angle, which is what we want. Right click anywhere you like in that plane tree, click sketch again. Hit the space bar, click normal two. Hit space bar again, click normal two. Now, because that spins it right around the right way. Click Convert Entities, and you want to pick up this inside line here. When that happens, click the green tick. What you now have is an ellipse drawn on the inside of the mug, or the mug lid, which is what you want. Go to Features, Extrude Boss Space, change it from Blind to Mid Plane, and the thickness has to be 2. When that's done, click the green tick once, click it twice for the update. Now, again, them planes are a little bit confusing now, so I'm gonna right click plane three, click hide in the glasses, right click plane two, click hide in the glasses, and then we're ready to put the hole in this for the liquids to come out. So I right click anywhere like on that surface, I click sketch, hit the space bar, click normal two. So we have to put the hole this up here. So I go to circle. Oh, it's probably the wrong button. I click the drop down arrow here and I'm going for center point um, slot, this one. And I'm going to click the origin, bring it on up, any distance I like, and go, oh, now I might have done this actually wrong. Let me just see now. I don't have it now. So I made a mistake there, folks. I can push escape on my keyboard. I'm going to try again. It's the one above it is three point slot. So again, click the origin. No, I did it wrong. <laughs> so sorry. Center point slot arc is the one I want. Click here. Come out here roughly like at, would say at 30 degrees. And then you want to go the opposite direction. Now I've done it wrong again. So I've pushed escape. Center point slot, we'll get it this time. This way here. And then yes, then go to the left. So I'll say that one more time. Drop down arrow, center point arc slash, click the origin first, go to the right somewhere like here, click again, then bring your mouse left, click again, then bring your mouse down, click again. Then go to smart dimension, that inside arc there, oh, sorry, smart dimension. So go to smart dimension, eventually turn on, click that arc there. That has to be a radius of 25, like what's coming up there. The outside one, it has to be a radius of 30. And this arc here, it is exactly what it says in the tin. It has to be 2.50, so you can click OK on that. And then the distance from this center point to this center point, that has to be a total of 16. Now, so when we have that done, uh, I just might, might notice I might have moved over slightly, folks. So I'm just going to see if I can click this line, hold down control, click that dot there, and then you want to click the option constant. Now it's in the middle again. And click the green tick. Features, extrude a cut, change it from blind to true all, and click the green tick.
Now, okay, so that's the hole cut out for the liquid. Oh, I just realized that hole's on the wrong side. Now, I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. It's very easy for me to spin that around at a later date. Um, leave it there for the moment, and when I'm doing the assembly, I'll fix that problem then. But for the moment, it's fine where it is. It makes no difference for the moment. It, it's very easy to fix that. I'm gonna go fill it. Uh, there's a few fillets to go on this before I go any further. Uh, the fillet needs to be changed to two for the moment. This edge here has to be two, and so does the outside. And we click the green tick on that. Let update. Then go back to fill it again. Uh, this outside edge here has to be two, and the inside as well. Click the green tick on that. Now, the last thing then is there's a small little part here that has to try and fill it in as well. Click fill it. It's on both sides. We're gonna try two, clicking this edge here. Let update. Okay, two is too big, so we'll try one. Yeah, one is the number. Now one was working fine there, so I'm gonna just try it again. X out of it, fill it. I might change it to 0 0.8. Click this here and do the same on the opposite side. 0 0.8. Click the green tick. Hit update. And then that's it. Okay. So you can save it at that for the moment, but there is a design that goes around the top of this as a hand grip, which I'm going to push onto it now. Okay. So to do that, I go reference geometry. Claim. I'm going to click this little plus here. I'm going to click the word top. And I'm going to rise it up quite a high distance just above the object like that. And I click the green tick. I'm going to right click anywhere on that. I'm going to click sketch. Hit the space bar. Click normal too. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to circle. And just here, in between the outside and this here, I'm going to draw one circle. Now, I'm just studying it here in front of me, okay? So it goes down into it. Now, so we're going to smart to mention the position of that circle so that everyone had the same. So I'm going to click the origin, click the middle of that circle there, and I'm going to say that that's 37. And I'm going to say that the radius of that circle there is 2. Well, we'll do a tree. Tree. It's only an impression that we're given, not an exact measurement. We then go to features and we go to extruded cut. I'm going to spin this into 3D. Now, I go from blind to offset from surface. I click this surface here. Okay, so you can see that's cutting down into it. Now, I might, might need to make the circle a little bit bigger because it's a little bit too small, I'd say. Uh, I'm going to click reverse. No, sorry. I'm going to leave off reverse, and I'm going to change from 2 to 3. No, sorry. It was actually corrected 2. No, I want to untick reverse. That's what's causing the problem there. So make sure reverse is not ticked. So change to 3, offset from surface. I click the green tick. Now, what's wrong now is that the circle is too far back and it's not far forward enough. So I'm going to click the little plus here. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to click edit sketch. Again, I hit the space bar and I click normal too. I'm going to change the 37 to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to try 40, see how that looks. So double click 37, I've changed the 40. And I'm going to leave the tree as it is. I'm just going to click the purple button here, the exit sketch button, and we'll have a look and see how that looks. Nearly there. I think 40 was actually too far to go. That's the problem. So again, click the plus here, right click this, first button there, hit the space bar, click normal two. I'm going to change it to 38. And I'm going to increase it from 3 to 3.5. Double click that, 3.5. And we'll see how this looks. 
might have to do it at 39 i'm not too sure you see it's kind of a trial and error thing this until i see how it looks and i get the closest impression i can okay so the problem there now is the 38 is too far back so i'm going to right click this and it's sketch again and i'm going to try 39 Let's see how that looks double click the 38 set to 39 click the green tick click the purple button again Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Now we're gonna pattern that around. So it kind of, it goes around 180 degrees. So I'm gonna to go to linear pattern, click the drop down arrow underneath, going to click circular pattern. Now the first thing you want to know is the feature you want to pattern. So click this little plus here, and you want to click that cut extrude that you just did last. Then click this box here because it wants to know the circle you want to follow. You click any of these circles you like, just make sure you pick up a circle, don't pick up the wrong thing. So I'll pick up one of the circles at the bottom. And what it's doing now is it's putting the grip all the way around 360 degrees. I don't want it 360 degrees, I want it 180 degrees. So we'll type in 180. And that's still not fully right. So we might try doing it 90 for the moment and change it from 40 there, I'd say maybe 15 of them might be enough. So if you just click anywhere in the gray, it'll update eventually. So 15 is too many, so we'll change it back to 10. Yeah, 10 is what we want. Now, the problem is I want to get it to go the opposite way. So I have all that done. So if I click the green tick again, that'll do one side perfectly. And then if I go back into this again, I go back into circular pattern again, and I click the plus and I make sure I click this thing here. Now it's already picked up this versus wrong, so I'm gonna just right click that, click delete. I want cut extrude four. The circle, again, pick up a circle at the bottom. And if I click the little arrow button here, it'll pop it out the far side. It's still 90 degrees, it's still 10. So I click the green tick. Lovely. Okay, so that's the grips on. Now that hole is the only thing that's incorrect, so I'm actually gonna fix that now. So that is this one here, cut extrude. I'm gonna click the plus, I'm gonna click the sketch, I'm going to edit sketch. I'm gonna hit the space bar, I'm gonna click normal too. Now, the way we can fix this, there's a couple of ways, but this is probably the fastest way. I'm gonna to go to line, I'm gonna click for construction, and I'm gonna just click a little horizontal line coming from the origin, left or right. Length is irrelevant. Put escape on the keyboard. I'm gonna to go to mirror entities, and I'm gonna tell it I want to mirror this, um, and I want to mirror it about this. That'll put the slot out the far side, click the green tick. Then go to trim, and delete what you just mirrored. Totally delete it. Wipe it out, draw a few lines over it. It's okay, that comes up, click okay. Might need to delete a few more times. Delete there again, delete there again. Click the green tick. And then click the exit button here. Now what should happen, so okay, it's saying there's a problem there, so I'm gonna just push cancel. Oh, I see there's still a bit of an arc there, so I need to delete that. There we go. Now what should happen is it should update and do the hole out the far side. So there we go, now it's at the right side. So it wasn't that big of a job to fix. And then what we do now is we go File, Save As, and we're gonna call this uh, Part to uh, Travel Mug 3 Lid. And click Save. Make sure you email it to yourself and email it to me or wherever to make sure you have a backup copy. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much.